Mike Hosking is number one. We are number 13. The bosses have put their foot down and told Jeremy Wells to be more. Like Mike. While holidaying in dinner hour earlier this year, I watched from my poolside vantage point and reveled at the lack of fat people. I dreamed of a country with no obesity, a country where wonderfully weight-conscious men and women could pick their way like sparrows through unglutinous cuisine without ever having to look at an ugly breathing unit of stored energy on legs. A New Zealand where you knew only $22 million of your hard-earned tax revenue was going towards type 2 diabetes care rather than $39 million. I've long advocated a tax on fat people. Obese individuals are a burden on the public health sector. They clog up drive throughs create extra environmental mental humidity through sweating and generally wear ill-fitting dark clothing which leads me like a poorly beninaed hem onto the topic du jour and my half-baked opinion on the so-called fat tax sometimes in election year you need to stop for a moment put on a Nora Jones CD and think about what's being fed to you rather than just eating I've recently moved on to the cavewoman diet a natural progression for any weight conscious paleo freak still unhappy with themselves I'm eating pretty much nothing apart from a few scraps of leftover meat from the kids' dinners and the occasional serving of seminal fluid. Indeed, the best part about the cavewoman diet is that unlike a lot of other food fads, you can drink as much giardia-infested water as you like. I carry a bottle of San Palapino Grigio, which makes me look far more sophisticated than your average pump drinker and gives me the constant trots, which helps me shed any extra kilos I may have accidentally breathed in. Bottom line is, fat people ruin our roads. They get in the way of your valuable extra coro seat leg room and they look unseemly poolside and dinner hour. Happy days. We'll see you tomorrow. And that was the Hauraki Breakfast. Hosking